Hello there, and I am continuing with the part two section. 2012. Why 2012 and why not 2025? 2025 was the prediction, you know what, it's not actually a prediction, it was the certainty of the end of time compiled from connecting each baby that was being born from their present existence from the beginning to a star. But, what they also had to take into consideration was, of course, human beings. Their nature, what they will do, who they will become, and what events will be compiled and take place here on Earth in the relationship of humanity as one together on Earth. When that was taken into consideration, the timeline was cut short to 2012. So the end of time is 2012. I smile because the end of time is so feared. The end of time is so misinterpreted. The end of time is not understood. I'm here to explain that to you. So, what does this mean? What did the beings who participated in the design of the mind calendar understand? That they're existing in a programmed design existence. Because they have the ability to actually predict with certainty actually place the future into perspective right here. That is only possible if all of existence as one, including the earth, the planets, the stars, the animals, human beings, are one program designed working together with a beginning and an end. So this programmed design, I'm going to refer to as consciousness systems. That's what all the dimensions are referring it as to. Consciousness systems. Let's take it from this perspective. Existence in its entirety, the earth, planets, stars, consciousness, a consciousness programmed design, including human beings. In the human beings exist a mind consciousness system. Within this consciousness programmed designed existence. And this entire consciousness existence work as one with a beginning with an end. And that's how the beings who designed and manifested and placed with certainty the end of time could actually do this. What a realization. What a knowing. So what does this end of time mean? It is fascinating. This end of time means the end of consciousness existence. The end of consciousness existence. What does that mean? Have a look. Have a look at human beings at this moment. Have a look at existence. Everything as one together have been working and is responsible basically for where humanity is at its current expression. Because we are here like this because we've accepted and allowed ourselves to become mind 
consciousness programmed systems within a consciousness programmed design existence. So therefore, the end of time means the end ooh, I know there, the end better the end of consciousness designed program systems. Ian, are you saying now that existence will disappear? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. But it will disappear from an interesting perspective. Existence as it exists in this very moment now this including human beings, the planets, the stars, planet Earth, the oceans, nature, everything, is already in the process of coming to an end, the end of time, the end of this consciousness system designed program existence multiple words I understand but that's what it is and it's already changing because a fascinating thing has occurred but something that was not expected and this little something I'm going to hold back for a moment now just place yourself brace yourself because all that you have known and ever trusted. Why trusted? Because human beings trust what they know at this very moment in their world. They are secure. They are safe. They are content. They are protected. They are happy. They are satisfied. Not many, but there are some. that is part of, and will be part of, the end of time, because that will come to an end. Your whole world will end. Your entire life experience will end. With the end of time in 2012. I will continue this discussion in my next interview. Thank you, this is Ian.